Hello, it's a rather glorious Monday the 26th. I'm FX Plu and we're back in business for the market brief. Back on the air wheel, gimbal in hand for a steady shot. Sun's out, gun's out. So are you ready for this? Uh, Sunak's been on. He said that we should hold our nerve in the face of continued high inflation and rising mortgage costs. Reliable leadership from a billionaire with no mortgage. Thanks very much, Rishi. Um, Last week's inflation data for May left the Bank of England with no real option but to double the size of the previous 12 rate hikes. And it turns out a 50 basis point rate hike was all the market needed to see to believe the MPC is taking inflation seriously now. Analysts expect rates will peak at around 6% later this year. So we've probably got two or three more rate hikes ahead of us. Kwasi kwartang has been on. Remember him? He was the blink-and-you'd-miss-him disaster of a Chancellor under the Liz Truss leadership. Anyway, he had the cheek to criticise Jeremy Hunt for almost welcoming a recession in his fight against inflation. The fight that he did very little to help, I might add. Uh, the cheek of it all. Sit down, Kwasi. Nobody cares anymore. Um, Over in the US, Powell's testimony to Congress all but confirmed the pause from the Fed would be only a pause and rate hikes are likely to resume uh, at the next Fed meeting. He's confident that a recession will be avoided uh, now that fears of a credit crunch after those three regional bank collapses have all but receded. Inflation has been falling consistently over the past few months in the US, but strong employment uh, data continues to fuel inflation where people can move jobs for a pay rise. Uh, The dollar dropped after the Fed paused rate action, uh, but Powell's testimony helped it recover. Uh, The dollar index rose to 103.15 last week. Sterling was bolstered by last week's rate hike, rising to 128.45 against the dollar and topping out at 117.40 against the euro. We kick off the new week from around 127.35 against the dollar, about 116.75 against the euro, uh, and euro dollar is around 109 on the open. That's it from me. Have a great week. I'll be back tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.